Set. Set is a collection of well-defined objects. Or there are three methods of writing sets. They are Let's talk about diagrammatic method first. In this diagrammatic method, um, if the question is asking, if the question is asking like this, uh, you should make a circle first. I'm making a circle. On the set of English flowers. <coughs> I O U and A T I O U. In this, this part is correct because you should not keep blank. Blank. If the question is this, uh, you should make a sentence according to the question. If the question is, if the question is this, in the descriptive method, you you should make a sentence. Sentence according to the question. Oh, uh, here is A. A is the is the set of of English vowels of English vowels. It is the answer because in descriptive methods you should make the sentence according to the question. Now in the list, listing method is the set of first five prime numbers. In the listing method, at the first, you you can you can do of any alphabet you like, but it should be in capital letter. I am writing here Benzon B. After that alphabet, after that capital alphabet, you should make an is equals to, and then curly bracket, and the set of first five prime numbers. The one is two, three, five. Seven and eleven. Collection of well-defined objects. Well-defined means clearly specified. One is diagrammatic matter. Second is descriptive method. And third is. Diagrammatic method means making diagram and writing there. If the question is set of English vowels, then we have to write A E I O U. If you write the descriptive method, descriptive method means describing. So if the question is a equal to A E I I O U. Then you have to write the set of English vowels. Okay. This is descriptive method means describing about that. Now listing method. Listing method means uh, if the question is set of English vowel, then you can write any alphabet here. But this will be in capital letter and equal to sign. And you should always mention your curly brackets after their a comma e comma i comma o comma u. Okay, this is the answer. Now let's talk an example. If there is elements and you have to write this in set. So we have to write like that. A equal to curly bracket E comma L comma. Here are double E, so we don't have to write because we have already write E. Okay? E L M M and N comma T comma S. Understood? Yes. Collection of well defined objects. Like and if the and suppose there is this is the name of the state and this 
always be in capital letter and this will be equal to sign and the calling brackets and these are the members of the state and they should always be in small letter. There are three methods of writing sets. Members of the 
this. Members of the set. It is separated by commas. We will write the members of the set in small letters. And it is closed by curly brackets. We can't allow this set to have repeated elements. So, this two, these words are already repeated. repeated so, we can we can write in it. In there. So, there are two. And similar, there are two signs. One is this and belongs to and other is doesn't belong to. And for an example, in here, um, so in here, A is the member of the set, so we should write it belongs to the set. So the sign should be like this. For, but if here comes B, then in the state of the A, so we we can it doesn't belong to and we should do the sign like this. Today I am going to teach you what I am going to teach you. Infinite set is a set of natural numbers. 